Hello Lola's, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new to this channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Please give this video a thumbs up. And also guys, if you would leave me a comment, let me know what you think about the video, or if you have any other topics that you would like for me to discuss, you can drop that down in the comment section. I always read my comments. Um, also guys, if you want to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is Miss Serenity underscore Smith. And if you would follow me on Instagram, um, also I am, I have a blog is Miss Serenity Smith babies.com. And also if you want to be a part of the chatterbox where I do live streams, um, at least once a month, it is. Um, the, the link is in the description bar if you don't see a join now button beside your um, subscribe button. So anyway, one minute in. I am here with Baby Winter. And Baby Winter is the, um, what is your sculpt name? Oh my gosh, did I just forget it? Oh well, she's a Lillian Breville sculpt. Oh my god, how did I forget her sculpt just that quick? Anyway, um, she's a Lillian Breeze, Breville sculpt. Um, she is sculpted by Lillian Breville duress and poured and molded and poured by Claire Teller dolls. Um, so basically this is a Lillian Breville sculpt. It's just poured in Claire Teller silicone, kit silicone um, mix. So she's in all in one piece, soft silicone. She has elbow armatures and she does have a drink and wet system, which means when she gets a bottle, she will wet her um she will wet her diaper now um i came on today because i seen a very interesting post and it really made me want to talk about um prices and silicone and just dolls in these dolls in general um there you everybody have their opinions but then there are facts and if you even if you look at the facts it will show you a lot um so the the the, the conversation was um someone wanted want to afford want to buy a silicone baby they really love them they think that they would be very helpful to them as they had lost the baby before and stuff like that now you guys know I'm not, um, I'm a very sensitive person and I'm not um, one to not be sympathetic for one that has had such a loss because I know that's a great pain. But at the same time, I always feel some type of way when someone actually um, kind of put that out there. It's like almost like giving a guilt trip, um, you know, to people um that selling and it is it's kind of hard because um you don't want to seem like you're cold hearted and you don't care but you also can't you can't lower your prices or give something away um to every person that's had a loss in their life because we've all had some type of loss or grief in our life so um, but anyway, the main part, not to get too deep into that part, the main part was they were saying if the prices were lower between, you know, two and $3,000, more silicone babies would sell. Well, there is, here's the thing. It is a, a good thing for the sellers and a, also a bad thing for the buyers. The prices don't really go down as much because there really isn't a, 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 you know, a uh, um, problem with selling silicone. Silicone sell faster than any other medium. Um, but, you know, I too wish they were cheaper. Um, but it, it the, the amount of cost that goes into them just doesn't allow for it. Um, and when you say two to three thousand dollars for a completed rooted you know um silicone baby 
that is um, definitely, you know, kind of hard to find sometimes because um, I'm just going to give you an example. I purchased a kit um, and the kit cost me $3,060 blank. That's with elbow armatures and a drink and wet. Um, no eyes. <laughs> um, it was a sleeper. And yeah. So $3,060 and you don't even have paint. Then you, when you add the supplies, um, when you're painting Reborns, the Genesis heat set paints and supplies, all of a sudden become very cheap when you compare it to the, the what what it costs and the materials and supplies that you need for silicone baby and everybody use different materials and different things that they need you know to paint their their dolls and stuff like that so that cost definitely varies you know across the board but however no matter which way you look at it right you know first of all like when you're painting reborns, your paints can last years, right? But when you paint silicone, you depending on how much you buy, you're gonna have to keep buying them every every so often because first of all, the silicone expire over a time, a period of time, and second of all, you use so much and you waste so much, um, and it's 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 a lot. It's, it's a lot and it's tedious. It's very, it's very tedious. It's a very tedious process. You know, at first, when I first started painting, I said, oh, this is not that hard. You know, I don't see why people charging so much in aqua. And I think this is easier than painting reborns. Well, here's the thing. Silicone is so unforgiving that, um, it's so unforgiving that you, when you make, you can make the slightest mistake and ruin that three thousand dollars. So it's a lot of risk going to it too. And um, so yeah. So here's another thing. Um, I honestly, to be honest, I hate spending three thousand dollars for a blank kit. That's that's the real honest truth. I'm being straight up honest. Um, do I think they're worth it? Sometime. Sometimes I, I think the sculpts that's costing that much is not any better than the ones that are um, selling for $1,500. Um, it just is a case-by-case -case situation and what you're willing to spend and what works for you. But there are some kits out here that you don't have to pay $3,000 for. And um, what I'm also finding is that I can actually love one of those scopes just as much as I can the three thousand dollar scopes it just depends on the scope again um but is it gonna be a difference in the like maybe the sculpting the pouring you know sometime yes sometime no but for the most part from what I've seen and I know this may piss a couple people off it's almost always a difference in um you know, like the realist, the level of realism of the sculpting or, um, you know, the pour itself and stuff. But does it take away from the baby for, as far as enjoyment and stuff like that? Can it be just as pretty as one that's, you know, hyper realistic? Yes, because it depends on what part of it is not that realistic. Like, for instance, um, and this is a, an expensive one. Um, my... Um, Gosh, I almost thought of her name, but I can't, her kit name I forgot again. Um, but Winter is an expensive kit. Um, but she doesn't have the most realistic bum bum. But you know what? Does it take away from her? Because when I put her on a diaper, she's fine. Um, I am into sculpt the sculpting part of the collecting of the dolls. So I do like the ones that are like extremely hyper realistic. But do I always need that in every single baby? Absolutely not. I thought I did. I'll be honest. I really thought I did. Um, you know, but I'm okay. Like, I don't, I, I'm, I'm finding that I can find what's in my budget and be okay. Um, the other part of it 
is that a lot of people have this misbelief or um, this thought that um, they they think that the oh you got something on this what is this oh, something on her turban um some people think that um what was i gonna say oh yeah some people think that you know silicone is the most comforting um i'm gonna get her another hat it's probably gonna be too hot like for her but i'm gonna still put it on her but some people may think that you know silicone is the only babies that will give you that real baby feel and stuff that's absolutely not true um i have some reborns that i've waited so well that and i'm not saying that just me can wait other people wait their babies you know really nice too but i've had some babies that i've waited so well until i um they just they they cuddle up like so um so nicely and just really feel super realistic so um you don't have to have a silicone for that part of it um it, you can have a reborn but see that's the thing people want silicones for reborn prices and um but it, it doesn't work like that so um you know and it, I guess it you know it takes you having to go through a lot of different experiences and stuff to get to a certain level um because for me I wouldn't have never thought that I would actually like enjoy a a baby that's not like for me my opinion the perfect sculpting and all this stuff but I actually um, and I'm not promoting any, you know, like promoting anybody or advertising anybody or nothing like that. But I actually have found myself loving um, sculpts that may not be perfect just as much or more than some of the ones that are like perfectly sculpted. And it's hard with silicone too to find one that you like that have everything, like have a nice realistic body and a cute face or, a, you know, whatever um so and then it, when it you know and then paint it the way you want it in order to come out the way that you want it it's just you know it's so it's a lot that goes into silicone but i found that you know if you search around you can find stuff now there are dolls in that budget like i said when you find kits like a thousand and fifteen hundred dollars um sometimes you know you might have to give up a few things um for me, when I'm in, uh, usually in that bracket, um, I have found very few that I actually like their armatures. So I don't, you know, moving forward, I won't probably get armatures in dolls in that that range unless it's, you know, I, I know that their armatures are softer and move like, you know, fluid and you don't feel like you're moving a coat hanger in the baby's arms. Um, and then the other... Um, Thing is the drinking wet I don't trust the, a lot of the drinking wets I've seen where you know um, and I'm saying this stuff not to put down other artists and stuff like that but just saying how people like to say oh it's all the same but it's really a lot of differences in the kits um, and which probably is why they're lesser expensive or more expensive but I've seen where the drinking wets are like hanging out the private area and stuff or you know just works kind of weird or you know they leak or don't break or they break or whatever the case may be but you know um i really like the way that uh claire does her drinking wets in both her kits and her dolls and um lillian's own as well is very seamless and her armatures is very soft but again you pay you gotta pay for it too you paying out the yin yang versus you know to add an armature in a most people they charge like ninety nine dollars to a hundred and something dollars or ninety a hundred to two hundred dollars for armatures but if you want you know armatures um 
it's like $300 or um, $500 in the more higher end. The drink and wet, most people only charge like $100 to add a drink and wet or $150 to add the drink and wet. Um, how much is it? I think it's another 500 or something dollars for the drinking wet. So it's a big difference, but the way that it works and the type of drinking wet system that you get, which, you know, I don't think the drinking wet system is like, I think the way that they install it is definitely important because you want to make sure it is not like the water is like going straight through the tube and not in the doll and sitting and all that stuff. I don't know how it's, how it works and all that and stuff, but I'm just saying, um, I know how when it work how it works when you're using it and stuff like that. Um, there's a difference in that, but you know that's why sometimes I don't even get drinking wet because even in the expensive dolls I don't get it because I don't use it enough to, you know, if 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 money is an issue at that time I'm not gonna get the drinking wet. I will get an armature the armatures if it's like a soft soft armature. But yeah, so it, that's why the price is crazy. But there are some really extremely realistic Reborns that actually feel feel really nice. Get you some a full arm, full legs, you know, Reborn and just go with it if that's, you know, your more your budget. You know, we always tend to want something that seems to be out of reach for us. And that's just human nature. And, you know, that's just like me. There are times where I want the, you know, the twenty, thirty thousand dollar doll, but can I afford that realistically? No, um, unless I sell my soul or everything else that goes with my soul, I, I, you know, I can't, and that's okay. But you know, we're gonna always kind of like, dang, I wish I could have got that baby, you know, type thing. Um, but it it feels better, and you enjoy them better when you stay within your price range. When you're not within your price range, it, it, it's different. It's a little bit of resentment there sometimes. And you kind of, you know, every time something go wrong or, you know, financially something happened in your life, you're kind of like, man, I should have never bought that doll. Everything goes back to, dang, why I spent all that money on that doll, you know, or that's the first thing you got to sell. And, and, and that's the, that's the, that's the kicker. Um, like when I sold Nigel, I didn't want to sell Nigel. I had to sell Nigel for financial reasons and I couldn't, you know, think to, I couldn't sit there and say, I'm going to keep this expensive doll in my collection and, you know, have to try to struggle or pull out all this money out my savings account to try to take care of this situation that came up. And hold on to my doll. But if it would have been a you know a, a lesser doll like my reborns, I'm I'm not, you know my favorite reborn. I don't have to, I don't have to feel pressured to sell it because, you know, that's a whole different you know amount of money, and I'm not gonna get as much money anyway um, off of it. Um, so yeah, so it's it it. So you when you look at the big picture, like I said, you really want to stay within your budget. But you really got to understand that these dolls are very expensive, both Reborns and silicones, and it takes a lot in it. And, you know, even for me, like some of the other artists were saying, even for me, even though I paint my own now, um, just think about it. If I paid $3,000 for that kit alone, so I paid over $3,000 for the kit alone, then I got to pay for supplies, and then I got to pay for um, rooting. And uh, or I got to root it, I meant, and pay for the hair. But then at the same time, I'm going to have to take time away from making money on a doll that I would have normally painted and finished and sold. So I'm losing money while I'm making the doll. So I'm really, at the end of the day, it's really like the only benefit is I get to paint it the way that I envision it. If I can, you know, put that into, you know, make it come to reality. Um, otherwise it, you know, it's, it's not really that cheap for, even for me to, so I can't keep every doll like that. And I can't even, I can't afford to keep buying kit after kit, not unless I'm going to buy it and sell it, you know, paint it and sell it. I can't afford that. Um, and I paint them myself. So, 
you know, but there's people out here that can. And so I think that's really the market. That's really, this hobby is really, really for people that actually have money. And, you know, I get it. We all want a little luxury in our life and we deserve it. And, you know, so I'm not going to say you you shouldn't be getting an expensive doll because you're on this budget or that budget. I hate when people do that. But you got to understand that when you say, okay, well, you know, you should lower the price that everybody can't afford that. They don't have to lower the prices because there's people out here that can't afford it. There's people out here that if something come up and they got, you know, you know, five thirty thousand dollar dolls sitting in there, they don't even that ain't even a thought. They just go and swipe their card or, you know, stroke their pen and it, it's taken care of. You see what I'm saying? So it's only us that's barely that's you know that's collecting above our means that's feeling that way. But anyway, guys, I just that was it. This is a very long video. I hope that you guys like, you know, understood where I was coming from. I hope that, you know, some of you guys will consider maybe I'm not going to say lower your standards, but looking for what's in your price range. Um, rather, you need to just stick with the Reborns until you can afford silicone because maybe secondhand you might find one in that price range. But if not, um, maybe you just need a really nicely done Reborn and not one that's just like don't that don't even look like a real baby. So um, that's all I got to say. I'm just saying you know, and there's, like I said, there are kits out there. And like I told y'all, I am so smitten over my Andrew and I caught that kit. First of all, I wasn't going to even pay the price that the kit was originally. And I caught that kit on sale. Um, they did a, like a holiday sale and I caught it. I think I paid like $1,300 for it or $1,400. I forget like, it, but it wasn't like $3,000. And let me tell you, I love him like he's like a $3,000. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed. He's not come totally finished. But so far from what I see, he is definitely a keeper. And I absolutely love him. And he don't have no butt. But guess what? I painted him a butt. <laughs> and when I put him on a diaper, girl, y'all better not. Who, who ain't got no butt? I wish y'all would say something about him. Baby, listen, but you know, it's funny because I, you know, I know somebody else that didn't really have nobody and that was a real person. So, but it ain't stopped me from having all them children. But anyway, um, I'm just saying, guys, be great. Don't get down. Don't get depressed. Um, I will talk about this a little bit more and go into some other things and ways that I think that you can try to find a dream baby and getting there. So let me know and we will... We would continue this conversation. I know I've had it before, but I think it's worth having again. Later.